Come on, <coughs> in this one, um, we are going to configure Visual Studio code with uh, Subversion and the Total as SVN. In the previous video, you have seen the introduction of Visual Studio code. So let's go ahead and configure the SVN and the Total as SVN <coughs> for your uh, Salesforce project. So the first step, what you'll do is you'll go to the Subversion uh, website. I'll give this link in the description below and uh, you will scroll down to windows if you are using windows or mac here if you are using mac so go and download the visual svn first and here apache subversion command line tools so download this and i'll go to the downloaded folder just copy it to a new folder just to extract and place it in my c drive so what i'll do is i'll create a new folder and say it apache svn and then extract the files in here here you get a bin and licenses folders so i'll keep these two files in this folder and copy and maintain this in uh, c drive so if you go to c drive i already have this folder placed so i just showed this for a demonstration purpose okay now the svn part is done now let's go to tortoise svn so i'll also keep this link in the description below so what you have to do is this is a tortoise svn sorry uh, I just clicked on it before so here comes the tortoise svn home page i'll also give the this link in the description below so here come here if you are 32 bit or 64 bit and see the version here it's 10.5 and it's 1.14.0 so download the latest version and install it in this case i'll go with this latest version and i'll just say accept it it'll get it get downloaded you don't need to worry about you don't need to enter any of this so once it is downloaded let's give a moment for it to download so once it is downloaded you will have to install just like any other installer it's a wizard a wizard based installer so it's pretty user friendly I'll show you how it looks okay the, this is installed so just double click on this it says preparing to install and just keep follow this install it says modify repair or remove because i already have this installed just for demonstration purpose i'm showing this so i don't need to take any action here you just have to follow the wizard option next 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 like how you install any other software so since I already have it installed, I got, I'm getting this option. So you can ignore this and you can just finish the installation. And then once you have it installed, uh, so let me open a sample folder here. Once you have it installed here, suppose say I'll create a new folder. See, as you can see already here, the SVN checkout and Tortoise SVN checkout. So this Tortoise SVN is nothing but a shell extension of uh, this SVN. So if you create a new folder, uh, I would say sub project, project Salesforce. So this, assuming you have, um, you know, uh, you have a server repository I mean the SVN server repository and what you'll do is when you click on SVN checkout you will get an option for uh, this one so this is my server and this is my local you can see here so you can give your server repository link here and then download your version so that will be like this this will be your working copy of your project and you can you know download all your objects here it will get downloaded once you download it from that link and you can use this as a project uh, you know uh, folder working copy of your project and you can come to visual studio and open the folder you have created a project salesforce select this one and uh, this project opens 
and you can see the subversion icon it will take some time once you load that project it will take some time to show this or browser and every other thing so as of now we just have this one created project salesforce what we'll do is we'll just create one simple the first apex class.cls so you can write your code here save it and then you know i'll show you how to connect to the org and how to you know how you can communicate using the sfdx and other stuff in the next video you will also have to download some extensions to set up this completely to make sure that all the sfdc related components or extensions work along with the visual studio code so that you have an ide set up so we'll discuss that in the next video so that's all for this video so hope you enjoyed it give a like and subscribe if you like it so thank you thanks for your time bye bye